Hello guys, this is just one guy and I'm back here with my Miss One project and I haven't uh, really done much in adding new features I've mainly been trying to build up a playable version and so far I just started to build this somewhat castle, I don't want to call it a castle because at Miss Points they don't really have castles I would think of it more as a fort so let's just go in and play now it still needs a lot of work uh, I need to redo probably some of these textures right here on the main wall and of course I'm going to change out the ground but mainly what I've been working on was this, uh, this little keep right here let me just uh, go to it and I've been trying to get this down for a playable version so I can update the uh, playable version and fix some of the bugs uh, one of the things is this actually started off uh, smaller in scope than I thought it was because I just wanted to have something where uh, we go to the ability where you could just uh, move around in the air and so I wanted something with these little metal parts on it that was in the air ah, I can't get to it and eventually what that turned into was actually building like a little castle or a little fort and uh, some of the hard parts with that is there are no pictures of uh, what the forts or houses or mansions in Mistborn look like and the way they're described is kind of modern but kind of not they're kind of like castles but they're kind of like uh, modern buildings so th this is just what I came up with halfway because uh, it worked well for gameplay reasons like those uh, big metal pointy spike things uh, in the books it says like all the uh, what's it forts have them or keeps have them yes they have keeps it says that uh the keeps have them but uh mainly the purpose in the game is just to move around in the air and i thought it gave it a kind of nice gothic look you see and uh most of the places don't have walls but some of the keeps do have walls, which is kind of weird. I just went with a wall because it looked it better. And I made it really big because in the books it say like all the stuff is uh, really big in scope. I like the way that most of it turned out, but I got to fix some of the coloring and texturing. And of course move that big goofy door right here. And probably uh, around some of these edges right here. In fact, I'll probably replace that whole front and change the texture on the wall. But uh, mostly what's been giving me trouble is the keep that's inside the wall. Now what I've been thinking of doing just to cut this project a little bit shorter is just building this keep out fully and making it fully playable and then just having everything take place in here and again. But I'm not sh uh, for sure on that. So mainly I've been building this keep up and trying to uh, fix the layout of it and of course figure out how I'm going to work the stairs. Uh, I can't get to the second level. Damn it. And it's mostly been turning out good but it just takes an extremely long time because I'm not actually that good at uh, creating assets so uh, that is what it is <laughs> Damn it, I cannot get to that second floor <laughs> uh, let me try running up the stairs nope that's another thing I gotta fix some of the glitches because of the way the uh, air movement works you can actually go through the walls if you flip but it does give you a lot of control on the air. And so far I like the way it's turning out. But I haven't really uploaded any new videos because uh, I've just been mainly working on this asset right here. And I think it just improves everything once I replace the ground with uh, dirt and everything like that 
and uh, I think it'll look pretty good. And then I'll, I'll finally start uh, getting back to programming, which I'm actually good at, instead of uh, asset creation. Try to get to that second floor one more time. Yeah. Ah, nope. The problem is that the, uh, ah, there we go. The coin jump moves me forward. So I can, as you can see, I just got a bunch of rooms here. This is what I mean. I got to fix the texturing. I was just trying to get the uh, geometry uh, uh, straight right now. And I wanted to have these uh, these arches because everything is supposed to be uh, like over designed in Mistborn. Unfortunately, uh, what I couldn't put in, what I wanted to put in was the uh, the glass windows, which they talk about in the books. And uh, I might still put that in, but I couldn't find any uh, good assets that would uh, make that would be appropriate for glass windows. That's what uh, also limited a lot of houses. A lot of uh, the house assets that I have, they have uh, grass on them, and Mistborn doesn't have uh, green grass. I would like to put some of the still windows like right here. I mean, uh, some of the glass windows that they describe in the book like right here and go around because this is going to be a, another floor. And these are some of the houses that I was just uh, building. Well, not building. But like a lot of these houses that I tried to use the house assets, they had uh, green grass all around them, which is a no-go in the Mistborn uh, universe. I like this asset because this is actually what I think some of the buildings uh, look like in a book. And the reason is because they're described as being like utilitarian and like uh, kind of modern with flat tops and everything like that, which is kind of weird for a medieval setting, which is uh, what gave me trouble in the beginning when I was trying to build assets because uh, the misborn buildings are, are the most unique in fantasy from what I could uh, see. They're like half modern, half medieval. And it's kind of weird because in the books, they don't even have steam age technology. But they have things like, uh, what, canned food. Anyway, uh, that's just what I've been working on. Uh, trying to get everything straight. Another thing I just realized was, I don't know if this is a playable version, but I uh, broke tin. Once you turn it on, you can't turn it off. So I also got to fix that, but that should be pretty simple. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.